Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhair Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting games that I played off late and I'm saying it is interesting because uh, two 1950 plus players were playing this, uh, which of course one of them was me and it ended in 11 moves without exchanging any pieces. All the pieces, all the pawns, everything was on the board, but the game ended in 11 moves. So yeah. Uh, before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel first and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Let's analyze the game uh, and see what happened here. My opponent started off with e4. I played c6, the Kavaka defense. Opponent goes for d4 and I played d5. Now opponent can take and make it an exchange variation but becomes advanced variation by playing e5. I develop the bishop on f5, normal development move here. Open plays f4. Now I always recommend not playing f4 because that weakens up your king side already. The diagonal is already opened up, uh, which can be exploited by uh, playing pawn forward and then getting queen uh, and bishop uh, lined up as well. So uh, here I played e6 as first, which was the best move as well. Open plays knight f3. I go with knight d7, trying to develop the knight first and maybe going for a pawn break. But my opponent played h3 here. Uh, so I played c5 still, trying to break open from there. Uh, but he doesn't and defends the pawn instead. So I tried to close the pawn chain. Uh, I can let this pressure remain and develop my other knight as well or the bishop. But I prefer uh, pushing the pawn forward, making sure that my bishop is not being exchanged here. Uh, so just trying to take control of d3 further. Here my opponent tried to kick my bishop away by playing g4. Now his idea is fine that he wants to move my bishop away. But what is he losing? He hasn't castled on either side. He hasn't developed any of the minor pieces on the queen side. Even the queen is on the root square for now. And nothing can be developed uh, straight away. Uh, knight uh, normal square is also uh, blocked by the pawn himself. If he tries to get a uh, knight on a3, of course, I can take with the bishop as well, spoiling his pawn structure, which would all also mean that c c4 will be indispensable from there. So he tried to just play pawns forward and disturb his own pawn structure, where probably he could have castled. So that's bad. You should never play like that. Here I played my bishop on. Uh, e4 first. I could have gone back, but then he could have played pawn forward as well. So I wanted to just uh, pin the uh, attack the knight there, which he tries to defend with the bishop. So here I developed my other bishop on e7. Now uh, my idea was simple. I can have this check, uh, and probably once he takes, I take with the queen, and then I can take the bishop as well. Here my opponent played knight to d2, connecting both the knights so that if I take the knight, he can take back with the knight as well and make sure that his structure is pretty good there. Uh, so I took this opportunity to just spoil his castling, uh, not let him castle straight away by placing my bishop on d3. Now it eyes the right diagonal, stops him from castling and his bishop is already stuck there. As you see, knight is stopping it. His other bishop is also stuck. So he basically has nothing to be moved and ideally should be moving the king here, which he doesn't and tries to break open the pawn uh, structure here, trying to make sure that uh, he can get his queen out, his bishop out, uh, spoil my pawn structure as well so that he can take, maybe if I take with the bishop, he can take with the knight and get some liquidity, some flow in his game, which never happened because that was mate in two. I can just plant my bishop, give a check, which, uh, of course, I'm controlling this diagonal with the bishop, which makes that only king has one square, which is f2. And that is also now attacked with the bishop. So he has to take here. And as soon as he does take, I'll take with the queen. And then it's a checkmate. So he saw that and then resigned. It was moved on 11. And nothing got off the board, not even a signal pawn. And I won this game hands down. So this is how bad development by the opponent can be taken advantage of. And you can just block diagonals uh, of this open structure with the bishops and win it easy. I hope you like the video. 
do let me know your feedback and thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that gives me a hell lot of motivation to keep these book coming daily thank you again take care bye bye